today guys welcome back welcome to pouring your heart out now it's trivet day now did you see the video i made of this one so cool hey so that was i just grab it that mold there so i bought a set of I'll do this one today I bought a set of four just got them on amazon search silicone trivet mold maybe something like that um so i guess it depends on what country you're into but if you search the trivet mold you should get these up right now i've got some leftover resin from another job um it's a very thin one though it's the platinum ultra clear so for me to turn it into a bowl i'll probably have to get up at like two o'clock in the morning and do it so I, I don't know look I don't know if I'm gonna do that um, I'll test it just before I go to bed about 10 30 tonight and if it's still really sticky then it's just gonna be a, a trivet it's not gonna be a bowl okay <laughs> so um, but I'm gonna do the reverse ink drop same as I did with the other one now I'm just gonna put some as you can see some pretty crushed glass in there some gold glass I'm going to go with browns today, sort of brown and orange and yellow. That's just crushed glass in there. I did spill a bit. Come on, back in you go. And there's a, there's a round center there, so I mean, I can't put anything in that. It's going to have a hole in the middle. There's a hole in the middle, dear Julie. <laughs> uh, I love that song. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit of gold around here. Oops, get back in there. I was looking at my octopus inks, um, which are, is what I used for this one. And I don't have any brown tones. So maybe they'd like to send me some brown tones. But um, yeah, so I've gone with the Sigwong. I personally don't like using really concentrated inks for the reverse ink drop. I find they... They don't spread as well, and sometimes they leave a skin on top, like the piñata. <laughs> Chasing bits of glass around, like the piñata. They leave a skin. All right, that'll do. So, uh, let me get my gloves back on. And I had that little bit of sticky paper there. I had to. I had to remind myself. The biggest, biggest thank you to one of the ladies that has donated to my channel. Oh my gosh, Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Crystal F. You know who you are. Thank you so, so much for your very generous donation. <clears throat> I was almost brought to tears. So thank you, thank you. You're a lovely, lovely lady. Really appreciate it. Okay. Oh, get me in tears again <laughs> all right let's get back to work let's get back to work so i'm going to start with i've got the sigwong coffee and i've got tangerine and i've got mango so i'm going to do the darkest ones on the outside i've got a little bit of black black currant um i'm not sure if i'm going to use it yet i may put a little bit in depending on how dark or not dark it is around the edge so basically this is just me dripping ink in around. I'm probably going to use a little bit more than I used last time. And I put a bit more in the middle because <laughs> I, I was expecting it all to kind of flow into the middle, but it didn't really. Although it may today because I'm using the thinner resin, my Platinum Ultra Clear. It's, it's great for like if you don't want bubbles. So if you're doing something intricate and you don't want bubbles, it's really good. Nice, thin resin I'll do in here as well in these little little holes here but yeah it just takes a, a longer time to set up what i found is and, and i could be wrong you could feel free to correct me the resin that is thinner uh, seems to take longer to set up and then the thicker resins seem to cure faster i guess because they're already thick you don't have to wait for them to thicken all right, so that's <clears throat> that's that. Now let's do another one in here. So I'm just basically doing that much along the outside with this dark brown. 
You can't really add the black afterwards. I did that in the other one. I was just thinking, I wonder if I can add, but you can't really add it afterwards. You have to do it now. So I probably won't do the black. We'll just see what this looks like. All right, um, now let's do the yellow. I've gone with mango. I don't want yellow, yellow. Plus I'm running a bit low on the yellow. I always use it, so I haven't really got much left of it. And it's, I really don't like having to buy like a whole set of something just to get one colour. So I do like to, I do like it when you can, you know, buy um, bottles that you can just choose the colour you want because I've got my favourites and then the others I don't really use very much of. <laughs> so doing the same thing here, just... All right, and then that leaves me with, I guess, the middle section for this tangerine. And then when I pour my resin into the middle, it'll all spread. Hopefully, it'll all spread. Okay, here we go. Tricky trying to work out where I still have to go. And the colors will you know, hopefully blend a little bit. Dropped it on top. Gosh. All right, where am I going? Up here. You could put four colors in if you wanted to. I'm, I'm just doing three, obviously. Make sure I haven't missed anywhere now. On the point, on the point, point. Is that everywhere? Oh, now let's go in here. I think that's, <laughs> oh gosh. Mm, don't know what I'm looking at anymore. <laughs> okay. Might do a little bit more of the, the dark. So I do want it really quite dark on the outside. And being an ink, it's still gonna be transparent. But there's much more surface area out here on the edges. So I think we can get away with doing a little bit more dark. What do you think? I think so. Could be wrong. I have known to be wrong. <laughs> Oh, that should have oh, that should have been the other colour. This one should have been that one, shouldn't it? All right, I think that'll be enough, you guys. Hopefully. Let's make sure I've got enough. All right, now the fun part. Get my lids back on. All right, um, I'm gonna get a paper cup. Hang on just one sec. I think it's easier with a little paper cup and then I can just kind of pour gently. Oh, my resin's starting to warm up. But look at that, like there's no bubbles in there at all. It looks like water, doesn't it? No bubbles, it's such a nice resin to work with. It's got some bubbles because I poured it in there. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'll put my hand this way. Hopefully you can see. I'll try and try and go into the center so it all kind of flows evenly. Now you do have to go slow, otherwise the areas closest to the center are all going to overflow. So, like I did there. So just wait until it's had a chance to run out and then keep going in the middle. Don't be tempted to put any on the outside. Just it doesn't work. So just go slowly. Take your time. I've got a little bit overflow there but that's all right I'll fix that up later on. A little bit more. Yeah. 
little bit more. Oh, I'm liking the colours. The orange has really taken over. I can't see much in the way of red, but... Well, the yellow. I mean, the yellow. It's, it's a yellowy orange. Oh, look at those little tips. I like those little tips. They're quite darker. And then the, the, it's got lighter in the middle. I'll, I'll have to get my baby... I can't do it with my glove on. I'll have to get my baby wipe out in a minute and just clean that little edge there. I'll get one now while it's... The resin's just settling. Just have to go in there. It's always good to wipe into the center of the resin rather than away from it because then it pushes the resin back into the into its little space. How are we going? Still got some areas to fill in. It doesn't use a lot of resin, like it's it's a good good little thing to do if you've just got leftovers like I have. It's not very dark, is it? <laughs> oh gosh. I thought it was gonna be much darker with the, you know the brown around the outside. Right, keep going. It will mix and meld and blend and things like that. So it's, it probably won't stay how it is. I think it will, I think the colours will blend, which is what I'm after. Now again, when you're getting close to the edges, don't overfill it. Otherwise, once the resin all gets to the edge, it's going to overflow. So just be careful about how much you're putting in as a bubble. Gotcha. Gotcha. And I've just noticed there's a little bit of glass in there. Get out, get back in the middle. The resin must have pushed them all out when I poured it in. All right, how are we looking? A little bit more. So I want to do, um, I think I want to do like a green one. And a blue one, or maybe a purple one and a blue one. Let me know what colours you think I should do with my last two. Very light little torch. Okay, I think we can do a little bit more. Now this area in the middle that I'm pouring on, once it's all settled, I will wipe the top with my baby wipe just to get the resin off the centre there. Because obviously I'm, it's it's supposed to be a hole in the middle. Definitely didn't put enough of the dark brown in. But look at the little tips. Aren't they gorgeous? We've got these little tips of dark brown. Like we've got the little tips of orange there. It's so cool. I love it. I guess you could if you wanted to grab a silicon stick and sort of, you know, move that ink around a little bit if you wanted to. I'm not sure if it will, like how well it will spread. I, I don't know. Oops. Just where it's big blobs, blocks of brown, I'll just kind of spread it. I think it kind of got stuck onto the side of the mold, my drops. So it's kind of sticking to the side. I'm hoping it will blend. Hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Otherwise I'm making a mess of it, but See, I wanted the dark like that around the edges. So anyway, I'll have a little bit more of a play with it. I'll clean up my centre. Um, yeah, and like I said, I'll check it before bed, but I, I don't think it's going to be ready to be moulded in, um, in about seven hours. But we'll see. What's the time? Oh, no, it's four o'clock already. Six hours. 
All right, I'll leave it at that. I think it's full enough. Clean up my little bits. Much easier to clean the mould if you do it when it's wet than rather when it's dry and try and pick them off. I can actually take a little bit more, you know. Just look at it across the top and it looks as if it can handle a little bit more. All right, I will leave you there, you, but you get the general idea. Um, and I will come back to you when it's time to unmould, whether that's tonight or tomorrow morning. All right, see you then. Let's go in for a little bit of a close-up, hey? You can see what it's doing. It's having a bit of trouble focusing. It doesn't know what to focus on. I think it's still got a little bit of room left. It's looking so pretty though. Look at those little dark tips there on the edges. Love those. Really pretty. Looks like that hard candy. <laughs> you know, you can just suck them. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll see you soon. Right, so it's the next day. <laughs> I When I went to bed, it was still like I just touched the side like that. And it was all wobbly. So um, it's, it's set. Um, it seems to be still bendy. So I've got my bowl. I've got the same bowl that I used for this one. So let's have a look. See how it's going to look. So this side's flat. The other side has a slight curve on it, which is really pretty. And um, it seems to be still bendy. <laughs> See, it's really cold in here. Um, like that's that's my little gauge. It's 16 degrees Celsius in the studio today, um, this morning. <laughs> so yeah, it um, probably took a long time to cure because it's so cold. I think we got down to seven last night. And I know it's probably not very cold for some of you, but for Australia, it's um, it's a bit chilly. It's almost spring, isn't it? Well, is it Australia? Almost spring, 1st of September. So our cold nights should be lessening, I guess. Oh, this is looking so pretty, you guys. <gasps> Look. So that's the, that's the back, the outside. So we turn it over. Oh wow. And uh, the brown did end up spreading. It really looks like, I can't, I, I can't think of the, the name of that, um, the stone or, or that glass that's got this amber hue to it. Anyway, without further ado, so what I did with this one, see the curved sides on the inside, which was the bottom, so I'm going to do the same with this one. <laughs> a little hole in the middle. So make sure that I've got it even. And then I'm just going to kind of, hopefully it'll go in. I don't want to break it. I might just have to help it along because it's not quite as soft as the last one was. Once I've got it over this little lip on the the plastic bowl, it should be it should be okay. Whoa. You can soften it. I hope I'm not breaking it now. <laughs> I have to press it back into shape. Oh gosh, look it's not it's going all out of shape. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should have just left it. Alright. I'll try again. Oh gosh, look at that. I do want a set of all of the bowls, so I will just try and fix those edges a little bit where they've kind of, <laughs> where it's kind of wobbled a bit. Oh gosh. All right, so don't leave it too long, you guys. <laughs> You'll have problems. Problems, problems, problems. Oh gosh. 
because it's only thin on along the edges. Never mind. I'll do my best to um, to fix it. But yeah, you can you can heat it with your your heat gun. Um, I'll try it just to kind of get it back into shape a little bit. Just hit the outside area there. Just a bit. Just a bit. Oh gosh. Now I'm... See it was it was um I don't know if you can see, see it's kind of going wrinkly there. That's what I was trying to avoid. So I was I'm gonna heat it again just to get those wrinkles out. And then once it's soft, I'll pop it back in and see if that's better. See, it's gone back to its normal shape. Yay! Oh, gosh. All right, a little bit of heat. Just around the outdoor. Might as well do everything. A little bit of heat just to soften it. And hopefully it will go back into the bowl. <sighs> what do you think? Because it's gone perfect now and it's... Okay, yeah, yeah. That worked, you guys. That worked. Oh, gosh. Whoops. All right. That's... Let's try again. No, don't bend. Don't bend. Oh, we're going to bend. Oh, gosh. Why are you bending? Oh, golly gosh. <laughs> maybe maybe it's just going to stay as a trivet. I might go and get a bigger bowl. It's, it's you know, obviously I've left it too long. Um, it doesn't want to just sit nicely. I'm just going to heat it again just to get rid of those little... Um, what did I call them? <laughs> creases. They were little creases. It looks really pretty. I'm going to get a bigger bowl, just one sec. So I've got a set of these bowls. I think it comes like six. There's a smaller one and then there's a couple of bigger ones as well. So they're just plastic. They're, they're really good to um, mould something in, being plastic. They just sort of pop back out. So let's see if it'll work better in something that's a little bit a little bit bigger <laughs> it's going like a square <laughs> oh gosh I am determined to get a bowl come on go back into a, a circle it wants to be a square for some reason I don't know I guess it doesn't matter I can have like different it doesn't matter it's kind of straight there and the little point there and then straight there and a little point if that's what it wants to do let's just let it do that shall we I'm gonna push that all in sorry if I'm annoying you or you're bored with me trying these things but you know it is what it is maybe I can accentuate that little area there Anyway, there we go. It's in, and it, it'll be a bowl. It'll be more like a square bowl than a... See, this one's different. It's got all these little little ridges or little bumps on it, so it, you know, obviously it's going to be a different shape. I might just make that straight. Push that in. Make sure they're all touching the base, touching the bowl. Okay, all right, you guys. <laughs> Sorry about all my fussing. All right, let's go in and have a little look. But you know, if you want to try something, it doesn't work. You try something else. Hey, but look at it. It looks so pretty. So pretty. But yeah, I think we're going to have like a. I'll try and straighten it, but it might not work that way. I think we're going to end up with like a square look. <laughs> Which is fine. I don't mind as long as I've got a bowl. And like I can do like four different shapes and four different sizes, but they'll all still match. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to let it set and um, I'll see you in a few hours. Actually, probably won't be longer than that to unmold. See you soon. All right, guys, it's the next day. And our gorgeous little bowl hopefully is ready. So all I need to do is just push on this because it's plastic and we should hear a nice little crack as it releases. 
Oh, we're not even going to get a crack. <laughs> that was probably because it didn't stick all stick down all that well. But anyway, there we go. And it's out. Look, it's so cute. It's actually nice having a slightly different shape, isn't it? So there's those two. Maybe I can do each one a different shape. Hey, that one's worked out quite nicely. Quite nice. There's the back. It's flat on the bottom. So it sits really nicely. It, it's not wonky. Um, so yeah, there we go. Really happy with it. Ended up with the dark brown around the edge there. A little bit of orange peeking in and then some yellow with that gold in the middle just to just to have a little bit of interest. Can you see the light catching it? Hopefully you can see the light catching it. It looks really pretty. Liquid amber. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a lot of fun. Um, I've got another two to do. So I will pick my next one and pick my colors. And uh, yeah, see you real soon for the next one. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.